Uh, welcome biologists. We are looking at ecosystems today and this is taken from the OCR specification for A-Level Biology A 6.3.1. We're looking at ecosystems and looking at their dy uh, how dynamic they are, looking at biotic and abiotic factors and different ecosystems in their examples as well. So a couple of definitions before we get started. <clears throat> An ecosystem, this is where we have all living organisms and non-living components and their interactions. A population, this is a number of individuals of the same species living in the same place at the same time. For example, in a garden, you may have 10 ladybirds. That is a population of ladybirds. A community, this is all the organisms of all the different species living in a habitat. For example, in a garden, you might have 10 ladybirds, 100 wood lice, 5 worms, 50 beetles. This is a community, all the organisms and of all the different species living in the same habitat. Habitat is a place where the organisms live. So, for example, that was the garden in that particular example. Ecosystems, that definition there is in a red box because it's taken from the MART scheme. It's important we need to learn that. Niche, again, this is taken from the MART scheme. This is the role of the organism within the ecosystem. For example, the wood lice role in the environment is to act as a decomposer to help break down substances, especially things like wood. Um, the, the role of a ladybird, for example, may be to uh, limit the aphid population. So they ha each organism has a different role within the ecosystem. We have biotic factors. Uh, they, these are the effects of living organisms and abiotic, therefore, is the non-living components of an environment. So we'll have a look at some of these abi uh, sorry, biotic factors. <clears throat> these are the bi biotic, uh, other, the effects of other living organisms. For example, we have feeding of herbivores on plants, uh, predation. For example, here we have a fox and I think a, a screw. Um, a parasitism. Um, so, for example, having a parasite or, or not. Uh, that's an effect of a living organism. Mutualistic relationships. So here we have the leaf cutter ant which have a mutualistic relationship with the fungi. Um, they take the fungi leaves so it back to, and the, the fungi is in the, the colony, in the nest. So the fungi uh, receives the, the food it needs, the leaves, uh, but and the ants also receive and eat the fungus. So they have a mutualistic relationship. Uh, we have competition, for example, here within the red deer competing for mates. Competition can be intra-specific and inter-specific. Intra-specific means it's individuals of the same species competing against each other, for example, the red deer. And in ter specific competition is competition between different species. For example, it might be two different seal species competing for some ice, for example, just to, to, to um, isolate themselves on, for example. Abiotic factors, these are non-living. There are quite a number of these. Um, the main, the popular ones on the MART scheme are temperature, light intensity, oxygen, carbon dioxide concentration, water supply, and pH. Those are the, the important ones that they mainly get marks for on your exams. Basically, anything non-living. So here's an example of two different habitats. If you would like to pause the video and have a go at listing or thinking about some abiotic factors and biotic factors, please pause the video now if you want to have a go at that. So the top one here is the example of a rock pool. So abiotic, the non-living factors here. Um, water availability, sunlight for the, the seaweed you can see here, um, pH of the the salt water, um, might even say pollutants in this case of the of the seawater. A uh, sorry biotic factors here, competition between other hermit crabs. You can see the hermit crab there. Um, other biotic factors, for example, parasitism might be happening in here. If we look at the the big tree here, the oak tree. Abiotic factors, again, temperature, wind speed, humidity, a pH of the soil, for example, uh, and, and biotic factors, living organisms here. So your intra and interspecific competition between different species for space or food. Um, other biotic factors might be parasitism. So sort of a couple to think about there. So we've looked at ecosystems and a range and different sizes influenced by abiotic and biotic factors. Remember in your exam, don't you use the words amount, it, they, size and good luck.